So this is Mo TV. My name is Shaban Mohammed. An updates hub where we tell you more about the Premier League. We discuss, give you into details what you should expect in the Premier League, what has happened, and what is expected to happen. This is Ediana. Thank you, Ediana. Thank you, Goffet Poku Aki. I received this special DC from Goffet Poku Waki of Ediana FC. Thank you very much, Waki. And so um, let's move straight to the results of the Premier League and let's do more of the statistics of the Ghana Premier League. In March the 5th, it's been very interesting. It's been very, 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 very uh, good. And so um, let's look at what happened. We have on Friday, Heart to Folk drawing against Ediana FC. And it's been six consecutive games with Heart of Folk not managing to even get a goal against Indiana. That is a challenge. Heart of Folk yet to score a goal against Indiana in six consecutive Premier League games. It's been tough for them to get just a goal against Indiana. And in the last six matches between Hearts and Indiana, Indiana have recorded five victories, one ended in a draw. So consecutive, including home and away Premier League games, that is where the challenges are coming. Now, fans are not happy with the performance of the team, especially with five matches and five points, we all know that Heart of Folk have played against, they've lost two matches, they've drawn two matches, and they've won one. They've drawn two matches, they've won two matches, and they've, they've lost, they've won one. So it has been, it's been very tough for them having to win a match in a Premier League. And that is what, a lot of people are of the view that why what is happening because the club has got Hamza Issa, a potent striker. Um, they've signed Asama Boatinefi, who scored 11 goals last season for um, Nations FC. And then um, it's been they've had some couple of experienced players in the midfield Hussein, Sani Ishak, Mohammed, and all these players, very experienced players that can make impact in the team. But so far, is it's not the best of results for them, especially when their opponent, Kumasa Santi Kotoko, are on cruise control, playing five matches undefeated, winning three matches, drawing two. Now, let's look at Adriana. Adriana, for the first time, have gone five matches without a win since their promotion in the Premier League in 2009. We all know that since they made their debut in the Premier League in 2009, they've been the only club since the start of the Premier League in 1958 to have played match or to have played a match in the, in the, to have performed and won the Premier League in their first Premier League season. So, in the history of the league, they are the first team or the debutant to win the Premier League. And under the late Herbert Addo, Stephen Adams, uh, Goffet Saka, Yes, Alan Skido, these were uh, Imanoku Okun, these were key players that made impact, made history in the year 2009. Then in 2017, they won the second Premier League trophy under Yusuf Abubakar, who passed on after two seasons. Now, so these are some of the facts around Ediana and Heart of Four game. On Sunday, we saw Kumasa Santi Kotoko defeating Accra Lions by a go to nil, and of course, for the first time since Accra Lions promotion in the Premier League, this is the first time that Kotoko um, are failing to score more goals against Accra Lions at home. And last season, even when Kotoko lost to Accra Lions, it was three two score line. It was a cricket score line, three two score line. Last two seasons, it was a four zero score line for Kotoko. Last three seasons, it was three zero for Kotoko. Yes, so. Accra Lions and Kotoko has always produced a goal, especially when Kotoko are hosting Accra Lions. Maybe the venue factor would play a role because in 2021, Babayara, last two seasons, Babayara, last season, Babayara. And this season, is it's been moved to a Boisle and Clay Sports Stadium where Kotoko continued their one-goal project. People of the view that, wow, if it is one-goal project and the opponent can score two, then it will be very difficult for Kotoko to avoid. Um concede, you know, it will be very difficult, difficult for Kotoko to play the game without losing. That is the views of others. They feel that um, if, you, if you feel, if you are playing a game, if you are playing a match, if you are performing and then you are not scoring more goals, it will be very tough for you to avoid relegation, especially uh, it will be very tough for you to, to, to go into the game or to 
finish the game without losing, especially when you meet a tougher opponent. That is the views of others. But I feel that if you can win 1-0 and defend well, because in the game against Accra Lions, in the absence of Abdul Hamid, is in Patrick Esiedu, it's been Lord Amwa, and then the two centre backs, the pillars of uh, Kumasa Santi Kotoko, Ablo, in the absence of uh, Samba O'Neill, it's been just as brilliant. He was the man of the match in the game. So we all saw his output, we all saw his performance. So for me, I feel they need the opportunity. If they are scoring one goal and it's going well for them, that should be it. So around Kotoko and Hatofu, can we bring in more the stats around them? But let's look at uh, one key thing. That is the Legon City's factor. Playing five matches without a win. Losing four, drawing one. A tough one. A tough one. It will be very tough. Heart of Lions suffered the same fate last season. Along the line, they managed to steal two. But this time, last season, Legon City's managed to avoid relegation. Last two seasons, have been the same. This year, they are in a very tough stage. And this league has been very competitive. If you try to play it slow before you see, you will be struggling. So for me, they need to up their game. My name is Shaban Mohamed. More update around the Premier League. Bye-bye.